The sun and the moon are made of plasma. So, what exactly is plasma? According to the OxfordLearnersDictionaries.com uh, It's a noun. Uh, number two, physics. A gas that contains approximately equal numbers of positive and negative electric charges and is present in the sun and most stars. From thoughtco.com the article entitled Plasma Definition in Chemistry and Physics What You Need to Know About the Fourth State of Matter and has a picture of a global and it's, the article is by Anne-Marie Helmenstein PhD so I'm sure she knows what she's talking about Plasma definition Plasma is a state of matter where the gas phase is energized until atomic electrons are no longer associated with any particular atomic nucleus. Plasmas are made up of positively charged ions and unbound electrons. Plasma may be produced by either heating a gas until it ionized or by subjecting it to a strong electromagnetic field. The term plasma comes from a Greek word that means jelly or moldable material. The word was introduced in the 1920s by chemist Irving Langmuir. Plasma is considered one of the four fundamental states of matter, along with solids, liquids and gases. While the other three states of matter are, are commonly encountered in daily life, plasma is relatively rare. Examples of plasma The plasma ball toy is a typical example of plasma and how it behaves. Plasma is also found in neon lights, plasma displays, uh, welding torches and tesla coils. Natural examples of plasma include lightening the aurora, the ionosphere, St. Elmo's fire, and electrical sparks. While not often seen on Earth, plasma is the most abundant form of matter in the universe, excluding perhaps dark matter. The stars, interior of the sun, solar wind, and solar corona consist of fully ionized plasma. The interstellar medium, an intergalactic medium, also contains plasma. Properties of plasma. In a sense, plasma is like a gas in that it assumes the shape and volume of its container. However, plasma isn't as free as gas because his particles are electrically charged. Opposite charges attract each other, often causing plasma to maintain a general shape or flow. The charged particles also mean plasma may be shaped or contained by electrical and magnetic fields. Plasma is generally at a much lower pressure than a gas. The Sun has a higher concentration of electromagnetic radiation combined with a high energy output. The Sun and Moon are in a symbiotic relationship where they both need each other. The Moon needs the Sun to electric, electromagnetically charge it, thus making it light up the night sky. The Sun needs the Moon 
to repel its high energy output by absorbing most of its energy and radiation. Otherwise, without the moon, the sun would simply burn out. I believe the moon phases are caused by the constant charging and discharging of the solar electromagnetic radiation, causing the waxing and waning of the moon. The moon is not a solid object, nor does it reflect, light, uh, reflect sunlight as claimed in the heliocentric model. The moon phases are simply an, an internal process caused by the sun's magnetic force which acts upon the moon. It is simply the result of the moon charging and discharging of its electromagnetic energy or radiation. Similarly, the lunar eclipse is not the shadows of the Earth falling on the Moon, as claimed in the heliocentric model. It is simply the resetting of the Moon's electromagnetic properties or field this happens like clockwork in a cyclic manner. If you observe the sun and moon or any other heavenly bodies over a period of time, then one could predict its position and their movement across the sky. Everything in the sky is cyclic. All you have to do is observe it over a length of time. There are no planets they do not exist. There is no universe and there is no heliocentric model. The earth is enclosed and it is a container. Finally, I just want to go back to the definition uh, as stated in the Oxford Dictionary. Uh, look at number one, uh, biology or medi medical. The clear liquid part of blood in which the blood cells etc. float. This is a perfect analogy of the sun and moon floating in the ether. Thank you very much.